Hello and welcome to PMCLounge.com. Today we are looking into the related concepts of quality that is grade, accuracy and precision. As always, the first link in the description is going to take you to a related article. So if you're into reading articles rather than watching videos, first link in the description is going to help you out with that. Now let's move on with this video. So first of all, we have already discussed quality in detail and second link in the description will be about the video that we did on quality and third link in the description will be the entire playlist of all the videos that we have done on quality management. So that is going to be very, very helpful. These three links are very, very helpful. So do take note of them. Now, quality we've already discussed in detail, but some of these concepts are very helpful and they are going to be helpful in two ways. Firstly, you will know them, which is good for from BMP exam point of view. So you'll know what grade is, what precision is, what accuracy is, which is uh, you'll definitely get questions in the BMP exam around these topics. And secondly, studying these concepts will help develop the understanding of how they differ from quality. If you see a lot of people, and like I said in one of my previous videos, that a lot of people use the word quality in day-to-day -day language. And you may, when you go over this video, you may find out that what is known as grade is what you thought quality was what is known as precision is what you thought quality was but quality is something different like I said do go over the video on quality before proceeding with this video if you have not already seen that one let's move on so quality versus grade quality the degree to which a product meets its requirements this is something we have already discussed and grade is a category or rank take note of this word it is a rank used to distinguish items that have the same functional use there are items that have the same functional use but where do they rank but do not share the same requirements for quality so their requirements for quality could be different but it is a rank of products that have the same functional use before we discuss an example of quality versus grade, let me remind you pmclounge.com slash PMP study plan is where you can go and grab yourself a PMP study plan, which will help you clear the exam in 50 days. Now, here's an example. Take a look at this. Suppose you need to buy a new phone for your granny. That's the key here. You need a new phone for your granny, not for your teenage son or daughter, right? Nokia 1200, do you remember those? Is the feature phone that's too dumb for today? Of course, it is not a smartphone. It has pretty limited uh, functionalities. It doesn't have any camera or apps. It cannot basically do much, but this phone is pretty solid when it comes to making phone calls and has a long lasting battery. So for granny, maybe this product is a good choice. Let's look at the other side of the spectrum you have an entry level android phone entry level android phone will come with a customized skin a customized skin on top of android it will have bloatware which is pre-installed software it will have all other bells and whistles apps cameras whatnot temperature kitchen sink everything will be there in that phone but the problem is that the phone may sometime lack and if you're working on heavy applications which are open in the background and the granny doesn't know how to close them the phone is definitely going to be laggy and it may even crash at times. So these examples demonstrate that while the entry level Android phone is high grade, the Android phone is high grade. Why do I say so? Because it has a lot of features and functions as compared to the Nokia 1200 here. But it is low quality. That is, it doesn't meet the criteria of fit for use. Fit for use here is that this phone will be used by the granny. So the granny is not really bothered with, with the customized skin. She doesn't really care about the bloatware, bells and whistles. She's not really looking for all that. All she needs is a phone that can make phone calls and has good batteries so that she doesn't have to charge it every now and then. Continuing with the example, Nokia 1200 is a lower grade phone but it is fit for use and granny will be at peace with it. In other words, it is why, why do we call Nokia 1200 lower grade here? Because it has limited features and functions, right? But it is higher quality because it meets the needs of the granny, right? It doesn't break down and is useful. So it meets the needs uh, that whatever granny is looking for, Nokia 1200 is a high quality product for her, although it is low, lower grade as compared to the Android phone because it doesn't have all the features, all the bells and whistles. Quality basically means something does what you need it to do. 
as simple as that, you will not have a simpler definition of quality. When it comes to project management, quality is a product that does what you need it to do. Grade has more to do with the product's value. The product's value could be higher. The Android phone will be more expensive than Nokia 1200, and that is why it is a higher grade product. But quality is the product does what you need it to do, and Nokia 1200 does exactly that. Higher grade items will typically cost more. This is another thing to note. Higher grade items will typically cost more than the lower grade items, of course, but a higher grade item may not always do what you need it to do. That means that means it may not always be a high quality product from your perspective, right? Now, if granny prefers handwritten letters, both Nokia 1200 and Android are low quality because she prefers handwritten letters. That means both these items, both these products, Nokia 1200 as well as Android phone are not doing what granny needs them to do. So in that case, both of these become low quality. Still, Android will still be a higher grade uh, product. Nokia 1200 will still be a comparatively lower grade product because it is cheaper and it has less functionalities. But both of them will be considered low quality if granny prefers handwritten letters. Oh, those handwritten letters, do you miss them? <laughs> All right, now let's talk about accuracy and precision. Accuracy is an assessment of correctness. Assessment of correctness. It is basically how close a value is to its true value. An example would be how close an arrow gets to the bull's eye center. And this is a very uh, typical and common example when we, anyone's discussing about accuracy and precision. How close an arrow gets to the bull's eye. That is accuracy. Then what is precision? Precision is an assessment of exactness. So accuracy is correctness. Precision is exactness. It's basically how repeatable a measurement is. Now, an example would be how close the second arrow. You've already shot the first arrow here. How close is the second arrow to the first one, regardless of whether either is near the mark, whether any one of them is near the mark is something that precision is not worried about. Precision is only worried about how close your second arrow is to the first arrow. Let's look at a, a picture which is quite famous when it comes to accuracy and precision. So if you have studied about accuracy and precision, you already know about this picture. First one is an example of high accuracy and low precision because all four shots are near the bull's eye. So that is why this is high accuracy, but they are far off from each other. And that is why this is low precision. While the second example is an example of high precision and low accuracy because all four shots are near to each other. Low accuracy because they are all far off from the bull's eye, from the main target. So I hope this video was helpful and you were able to understand the difference between quality, grade, precision and accuracy. Do hit the like button if you enjoyed it and learned something new. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new content. And as always, don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you.